Hi guys, it's Ben here. Welcome back to another transfer video. It's nine o'clock on Thursday evening and we've all been refreshing our Twitters all day. We've all been wondering for the last 72 hours really, uh, when is Nabil Fakir going to be done basically? I mean, we've seen reports thinking it was going to be a long time, it might be after, after the World Cup and Aulas came out and said that uh, it wasn't close and in his mind it would be after the World Cup when it all got sorted but now it looks like a breakthrough has been made. Liverpool must have been working absolutely tirelessly on this one um, and I've, I've got a uh, I've got Paul Joyce's notifications turned on. I mean, God knows what sort of things are going to happen in the next few minutes because this is very reminiscent of the Fabinho deal. Um, less so in that uh, in the, that that was completely out of nowhere. We've known about the links for a while on this one, but Le Keep were the first to, to break it, um, and it was French media with the Fabinho one as well that broke it, and then David Maddock has followed right up. So I've got David Maddock's article from about 12 minutes ago here, right in front of me. Liverpool are set to complete a deal for Nabil Fakir within the next 24 hours. That is all you need to know. Um, we know we, we know the fee is going to be around 60 million. Uh, we, we all got a feeling it was going to be today. Uh, Simon Hughes, who is ever reliable from the Independent, um, put a piece out earlier saying Liverpool were probably going to complete at least one signing <coughs> Excuse me. in the next 24 hours. We know the Shakiri links. We know the Fakir links. Uh, we know that the goalkeeper situation is way too far off uh, being sorted anytime soon. So it was always going to be either Fakir and or uh, Shakiri. Um, I'm just kind of refreshing Twitter again in case anyone else has had anything to say. Uh, it doesn't look like they have, apart from some uh, a foreign journalist. I'm just trying to see where this is from. It's, it's another it's another look keep thing. 65 million euros plus 7 million euros in add-ons. Um, he must pass his medical. Uh, before completing the deal, so that looks like it's going to happen tomorrow, Friday. Um, Liverpool have got people on standby in France, um, should they be required, it looks like they are going to be required. France have a game, I believe, against the United States of America on Saturday before they fly out to Russia for their World Cup campaign, and it looks like by the time they board that plane to Russia, Nabil Fakir will have been announced as a Liverpool player, which is which is absolutely fantastic and you know my mates in my group chat now are, are talking about Liverpool having the one of the best teams in the league maybe among the title favourites um, it's so exciting and I, I was just saying to a, to a mate it's like um, we're finally replacing boss players with boss players we, we don't want to be a selling club we sold Coutinho for, for a lot of money in January we didn't replace him then maybe it's been Fakir the whole time that we wanted um, he obviously is a player that can fill that uh, wide forward role as well as that central midfield role. Maybe it was him all, all along. Um, and then we saw some tentative links come out around the Chelsea game on May the 5th. Um, so, sounds like England have scored again. I'm just watching England Costa Rica, by the way. Um, so, yeah, Nabu Fakir, it looks like it is done and dusted. I mean, by the time this video goes live, there may well be even more. Uh, only more, even more tweets coming out. I'm just kind of refreshing it again, and it is done. I think we can all be pretty sure now. Nabil Fakir, um, by the time this is uploaded, or by the time you watch this right now, he may well have been announced. I think tomorrow might be the announcement, or Saturday latest. Um, but it looks like signing number two of the summer is in, um, which is fantastic. Uh, Nabil Fakir is a quality player. His numbers speak for themselves, but I mean, even past that, just his skill set, 18 goals, 8 assists in Liga last season in 28 starts, um, 3 goals and an assist in the Europa League, um, the season before that in the league it was 9 goals and 4 assists, again 28 starts, um, and he's, he's, he's on the fringes of the France team, he's going to be in the squad, so we're getting a real quality player here, a player that's been consistent in Liga for a long time, can he make the transition from French League to English League, I hope so, I, I think so. Um, so let's do one more refresh of Twitter before I close this video down. Um, yeah, it's all good. Nabu Fakir is going to be a Liverpool player. I think we, uh, I think we can hang our hats on that, and I think we could all be absolutely delighted. Um, now the links with Jordan Shakiri and Moses Simon are still there. I saw Neil Jones' piece in Goal not so long ago. Um, that those links are legit. So will we sign both of those players maybe and call that a day as far as attacking players are concerned? I think if we do that, you know, I, I kind of have to evaluate it a bit in a bit more detail once I kind of map it all out. But I think, you know, that, that that's okay. That's not it's not setting the world alight as, as much as maybe uh, a Dembele or, or a Pulisic as well would. You never know. We still might be targeting one of those, or maybe we're going to look to sign a defender um, because you know injuries there would leave us pretty snookered. Maybe another midfielder. Um, Depends on the futures of like Adam Lallana. Um, you know, you, you never really know. 
Um, I think the fullback were fine. Obviously, the goalkeeper is the biggest issue we need to resolve now. Uh, but it's great that we've got two big problem positions sorted before the World Cup. Fabinho and Nabil Fakir. How exciting. And the title charge starts here. Um, you know, the pre-season friendlies have been announced. We're going to bounce into Chester. Um, I, think, I think that's the first one. Uh, Blackburn, there's Bury and Tranmere as well. Um, who knows who's going to be on show at that point. Maybe, maybe we'll see Fabinho there. Um, for, for Kiel, will obviously come back after the World Cup. The Reds are doing bits in the transfer market. I'm excited. Leave a comment with your thoughts. As always, appreciate all your comments, guys. I reply to every single one of them. And subscribe to this channel if you're new. All the transfer updates, all the vlogs from games, all the World Cup coverage as well will be here. So don't hesitate to subscribe and turn those post notifications on. Follow me on Twitter, Instagram, Snapchat and Facebook. It's been my say, of course, on all those platforms. And I'll see you next time. Up the Reds, up the Nabil Fakir.